Hey guys, it's me Thomas and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a multi-material barrier inside of Unreal Engine Fortnite. Now, what you want to do is you want to download a few cube maps or HDRI images. Just make sure they're quite large, otherwise they will stretch and they won't really look that good. Now, what you want to do is you want to import your images into UEFN, which is all, I've already got a few images that I can import. So once you've imported these into UEFN, you want to open them all. Now, what you want to do is increase this maximum texture size. I'm not going to do that this um, this time. However, um, you want to change this to leave, leave existing MIPS because once they add the new restrictions in, it it um, no MIP maps won't work with it. So yeah, so these are the only ways of making it work again. But it still looks exactly the same as the um, no MIP maps, which is good. Okay, so close out this. So once you've done all that, um, right click in your folder or your content browser, wherever you stored your textures and create a new material. I'm gonna name this multi barrier material. And then you wanna open it and you have this. You wanna go down to shader model down here you want to click it and you want to click unlit so now what you want to do is if you have six textures you want to create a texture sample by holding T and then pressing and you want to create basically if you have six you want to create six texture samples if you have three create three if you only have one you only have one obviously this is a multi texture um, barrier so if you have one you can just follow the regular one however it will work now I'm gonna make a of these because I have four that I can use. So once you have four, what you wanna do is you wanna put all of your textures inside of the texture samples, which I'll do now. Okay, so once you put all the textures in your texture samples, you wanna right click and create a camera vector, WS, and then you wanna connect this to all of the UVs of your texture samples. Um, if it comes up with any errors, you'll need a UV to long lat or long lat to UV. It's either one of those. Basically, the one I used in my first tutorial. Once you've done that, okay, so you want to right click and create a static switch parameter. And name it barrier one, and then you want to copy this, create a barrier two. And do the same thing for all of these materials. So if you have four, create four. If you have five, six, so on, create as many of the static switches. Make sure it's not the same name by the way, otherwise it won't work properly. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab RGB node from here and put this into true. You want to grab the false and put it in the end of barrier 2. And then you want to put this in true over here, false over here, true in here, false into this next one, true into here, and then so on. And once you've got to the end and you're finished with all the static switches, you can just create a constant, make it any color you want. I'm gonna actually put it as blue and then put this in false. Once you've done that, grab this and put this into a missive and it will just look like this because none of these switches are enabled. Now apply this, you wanna go back and right click your material click material instance and then you can open it up. And now you have all of these to the side. If it's collapsed, you might wanna create, press this arrow right here and then open that up like so. Now what you wanna do is it works on objects, but I'm going to use a barrier just to test. Make this a bit big. Hello. And then, if you just put the material in like this, it will just look blue or whatever color you made it. Um, to change the barrier, click this. It works with all of them, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so that's how you make a multi-barrier material inside of UEFN. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for the 75 likes on my video. That is actually insane. I was not expecting that many likes on the video, but thank you for everyone that enjoyed. I'm glad I could help anyone. Um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.